Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well with you. And uh, coming at you with a new video. I'm so excited to do this video. This is an unboxing of a Sense Energy Monitor. And I'm going to do a quick installation too. So I've been waiting four months for this to arrive. I ordered it on May 14th, 2016. And it actually arrived today on September 14th, 2016. So exactly four months to the day. I received an email July 18th stating that uh, they had problems with the box design and uh, they're going to have them ready after August 10th and then finally received an email early September that stated that uh, my sense would be shipping the week of September 12th and it shipped on the 13th and arrived today. So let's open it up and let's take a look at the contents and then we're going to do an installation as always when you're uh, Installing things and electric panels and so forth uh, You have to be careful and uh, by no way should you follow what I'm doing your situation may be different Always best to hire an electrician. I take no responsibility for any one getting her or killed Because you're messing around in an electric panel. So just keep that in mind But I'm glad you're here to watch this and as I said before I'm very excited to get the sense energy monitor installed all right, so let's go ahead and open this up here and uh, see what we have. All right, looks cool. I suspected that it's going to be some kind of like fancy packaging. I mean, they took extra time um, to do this and something equivalent to like how Apple or Nest packages all their stuff. So we've got the shipping uh, information here. Let's go ahead and open this up here, see what we have. Okay, that's cool. Take that away. Very cool. Got a little saying there. Very cool. All right. It's done well. Really makes you think that. Uh, this is very similar to a Nest product, how it's packaged and so forth. All right, that's very cool. There we go, there's the Nest monitor. Very nice, just popped out. All right, looks like I think that's the antenna port down here. All right, some other connections, very cool. And then we have the uh, rings here, the sensors that uh, go against the main uh, lines that come into your uh, panel. Very cool. There anything else in here? Buy some cabling. See what we got here. And all the other parts. Okay, external. This is for uh, mounting it outside your box. There's some cables and so forth. All right, well done. A plus so far for cents. Um, packaging's great. Everything arrived without uh, anything being broken or missing. Um, looks really cool. All right, so let's take a look at all the components now. I have it unpackaged here. Got a really nice manual here. I went ahead and downloaded this already off their website. What else we have in here? Some stickers. So check that out later. So nice. Again, the sense monitor. Pretty cool. CT clamps. This is my power cord. I got the black and red wires which will go into my uh, double pole breaker and then a neutral wire here to go into neutral bar. And then the antenna which is going to go uh, one end to the sense monitor and the other end through uh, one of the knockouts on the uh, panel and then the antenna attaches below it. So pretty, pretty cool stuff here. Uh, simple and uh, let's go ahead and get it hooked up and see what we have. All right, so let's take a look at the breaker panel. I got things opened up here. I have a 150 amp service, and this main panel, everything is full, as you can see. And I've gone ahead and installed a sub panel underneath. And I actually have another video on this on my channel. So if you're interested in installing sub panels, check it out. Again, do it at your own risk here. On the sub panel here, I have uh, space to install a double pole breaker which is going to feed power to the uh, Sense Energy Monitor. Now this Energy Monitor does not require a lot of power. It's, it's minimal. 
and I do have an extra breaker here that I'm going to put in there. It's actually 30 amp and it's overkill. Really just need to install the smallest size double pole breaker available that fits your panel. And the monitor is going to go up here and up in the main panel. I'm just going to feed things through for power and then my CT clips are going to go up here uh, the, on the two main lines that come into the panel. So I do have the sub panel turned off right now. Whenever I work in a panel, I tend to turn off the, uh, the main breaker and cut power to it. All right, so let's go ahead and just feed some of these cables down through. Now the panel up here above it is hot. So I'm just going to be careful as I wear things down. All right, so let's just go ahead and do some connections here. Connect my neutral wire to the neutral bus bar here. All right, just finished up installing the uh, wires into the breaker. I did it off camera because it was a little tight trying to get the tripod in. And uh, I brought my other wire in and over. Just clean that up a little bit. So everything fits, everything's good here. Let's go ahead and put the sense monitor in and connect the antenna and bring the CT cords up over the main lines and we should be good to go here. So the monitor, I'm gonna have it sit down here, just address the wire properly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a knockout in the corner right here. And that's where my antenna is gonna hang down from and the end of this cord actually goes through the knockout and then the other end connects to the uh, sense energy monitor. And my media center is right next door so that Wi-Fi signal doesn't have very far to go. It's literally like two feet from the router. Real good there. Okay. And just see how I want to do this. I guess we'll do, plug the antenna in and just send it down through. Let's go ahead. Antenna just screws on. Sorry if it's dark. I'm going to light around insulation a little bit here, just like that. Antenna in that slot in the corner there just went right down, snapped in. It's coming out the side here, and it's adjustable and movable. I can just put it on the side right there. It's perfect. That was pretty slick, I have to say. This whole setup is super easy. person with minimal experience can easily hook this up. Just got one more connection to do it is the uh, CT circuits. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's my final connection here. Try to do this in the light here. Just my CT circuits. Hook that up. Easy. All right, I'm just gonna clamp um, basically both uh, lugs here, wires, and then just dress the wires on each side and it should be all set to go here. This is probably the most nervous part I have because, you know, I know those lugs are live. So I'll just make sure they're both going the same way. I believe that's what the instructions said here. All right, so let's take one more look here at the uh, Sense Energy Monitor before I button things up and put the covers back on both the panel and the sub panel. So here's the monitor down there. I got the uh, CT clamp cables uh, running up the side and then over on each of the main lines, which is good. Everything's been uh, buttoned up down there, looks pretty good. And all my connections down to the sub panel, which is where the Sense Energy Monitor is getting its power from. All right, I'll set to power things up here. Go ahead, turn on my sub panel and turn on the breaker for the Sense Energy Monitor. And I'm supposed to wait until I hear some music. Perfect. All right, so I got the covers back on, all set, everything's powered up, everything's good. Ready to uh, run the app and uh, get things going. All right guys, so I'm installing on my iPad mini here just because I'm using my phone to shoot this video in 4K. So let's go ahead and we'll get started here, accept. And uh, I'm going to go through the rest of this process, set things up, and uh, I'll come back and show you what, uh, what the final product looks like once I have uh, the app installed here and recognizing all the hardware.
All right, guys, so in the installation process, I did run into an error. I couldn't get the sense to be uh, on my local network, and I eventually ended up swapping out my uh, existing router right here for an older model that uh, I keep as a backup, and things seem to be working fine now. The sense has actually been running for a day, and I'm not exactly sure what the issue is, uh, if it's an issue between wireless bands, N versus G, if it's password related, um, but things are working now and they've been working for a day, so I'm very happy about that. And I still have a lot more uh, investigation to do on why the sense is having problems with my uh, newer router. Once I figure that out, I'll do an additional video, but I want to move forward and show you what I've got so far on the sense module. All right, guys, so I got two iPads in front of me right now. On my left, I have the Sense running on an iPad mini, and on my right, I have Insteon opened up, which runs home automation, lights, and so forth. So let's take a look at the Sense app. Right now, it's just after 9 o'clock in the morning, and there's 431 watts of electricity being used in the house. And it doesn't matter if it's coming from solar, if it's coming from the grid, it's just passing through the two main lugs on our main uh, distribution box. So in the Sense app you have a couple things here. You, you can track when something's turned on. So let me go ahead and just turn on all the outside lights. About 430 to about 500 and roughly um, 10 watts. A little surge there and then it came down. So plus 83 watts you can see one so it's tracking things in real time as you turn things on and off now most energy monitor devices are going to do that at the global level which we're at but the beautiful thing about sense is it starts to figure out what is what now sense has to run for a few days in order for it to do this um, and it will come up with multiple boxes once you turn things on and you turn things off it'll start figuring out, well, you just turned on the washer machine and it ran for an hour, or it'll tell me, well, you left the garage door open because it only went up and we didn't sense it going down. And these bubbles, as you can see, will get bigger when more things get turned on and so forth. So right now we just had a surge in the house. Eventually, sense will figure out what it is. And we have, right now we have two bubbles. There's an always on. That's probably the router and things that have phantom loads and so forth. Also, last night it figured out when I plugged in the car, it figured out this was a new device. It was the first bubble I got. And I went ahead and actually um, was able to name the bubble and put it in as, as our Chevy Volt EVSE. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video here. Very pleased so far with Sense. Uh, just had the one issue with the router and still working on that. But right now, I'm having a lot of fun just going around turning devices on and off and seeing what's drawing what. Can't wait until Sense really starts digging in and figuring out what is what when lights get turned on and so forth. There'll be many, many updates I'm gonna do on this. Consider this to be a multi-part series that I'll shoot on Sense and how it's working in our home. Lastly, I just want to say that Sense is going to be an awesome device to have in our house. So I'm very excited about using the Sense app here. I think knowing where energy is going in the house and how it's being used is really powerful. Um, it can help um, lead to better energy efficiency. It can tell us when things are on and off and we can better manage our loads and so forth. Uh, knowledge is power and literally here it's uh, knowing what is on is uh, powerful because it gives us knowledge to how things run and so forth. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, very excited. Uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and we'll catch you next time.